of the biggest lies being passed around the internet is that King James was a Freemason, and that him being a Freemason makes the King James Bible a Freemasonic Bible, and therefore, you know, the body of Christ shouldn't trust it. Well, this lie is just parroted around by a bunch of uh, fools all over the internet, and it's a complete and utter false allegation. King James is not a Freemason. Let's take a look at the proof. So here we have proof that King James was not a Freemason, and the 1611 King James Bible is not a Masonic Bible. Allegations that the King James Version is a Masonic Bible and that King James was a Freemason are based on falsified evidence. A case in point is a YouTube video which begins with a Masonic profile of King James on the website of Grand Lodge of British Columbia, Yukon. The profile reference references a history of the ancient Masonic Lodge of Schoon and Perth, published in 1898, which cites a mutual agreement of 1658, which falsely states that King James was entered Freemasoned and fellow craft of the Lodge of Schoon on 15th of April, 1601. For all of you out there who do not uh, know, um, Freemasonry and the Jesuits and those secret societies connected to them make up the New World Order. They're, they're essentially the ones pushing for the New World Order and trying to uh, get all this stuff to come to pass. And that's why the uh, Roman Catholic Church is the horror of Revelation 17 Mystery Babylon. The Jesuits have infiltrated many circles and many political circles and are bringing the kings of the earth mentioned in Revelation 17 to drink of the wine of their uh, mother church's fornication. But let's continue. And this is apparently a screenshot of the little thing on the, the Grand Lodge that they have. They have a picture of King James and all this stuff saying that he was entered in. But let's read what the footnotes say. Note that the citation of the history of the ancient Masonic Lodge of Schoon in Perth states that the contract or mutual agreement is the only record of this initiation and admits that there is no primary source documentation. So there is no primary source documentation for what this uh, what this article says, what they have in here. The aforementioned YouTube video does not scroll down the page so that viewers can see the disclaimer. Sounds very dishonest in my opinion. Sounds like someone out there hates the King James Bible. Note that the contract or mutual agreement is the only record of this initiation, that this, that this history was commissioned by the Lodge to establish its claims of pre, uh, precedence and there is no primary source documentation. The contract or mutual agreement of 1658 stated that King James the sixth of uh, sixth of blessed uh, memory was be uh, the king's own desire by the king's own desire entered uh, Fre Freeman uh, Mason and fellow craft, and during his lifetime he maintained the same as as a member of the lodge of Scone. However, the next paragraph in, paragraph in its footnote contained the official disclaimer. Edward McBean claims that the initi initiation of James the Sixth, King of Scotland, is apocryphal, and it must be noted that there is no primary source documentation. Two, the Master Masons to the Crown of Scotland, Edward McBean, Junior Warden of Quotor, Coranti Lodge, we may remark that the reception of the Scottish King is generally considered apocryphal. Ars Quotor Coronatum, uh, Volume 2, you have the reference right here. And then uh, keep going down. Edward McBean claims that the initiation of James the Sixth, King of Scotland, is apocryphal. And again, we're told, you know, we may remark that the reception of Scottish King is generally considered apocryphal. What is apocryphal? Doubtful authorship or authenticity, much like the uh, the apocryphal books that do not belong in the Bible. Um, two, false, spurious, untrue, counterfeit, fabricated, fictitious, made up. The disclaimer was written by Edward McBean, who was an officer of the Quoter Caronanti Lodge, the premier lodge for Masonic research. The Quoter Caronanti Lodge is located in Freemason Hall, the venue of the United Grand Lodge of England on 60 Great Queen Street, London. The Quoter, um, the Quoter Caronanti Lodge, warranted by the United Grand Lodge of England, is the premier lodge of Masonic research, having been founded in 1884. The United Grand Lodge of England is the governing body of Freemasonry in England and Wales with lodges in other predominantly ex-British Empire and Commonwealth uh, countries outside the United Kingdom. It claims to be the oldest Grand Lodge in the world by descent, 
from the first Grand Lodge formed in London in 1717. Together with the Grand Lodge of Ireland and Grand Lodge of Scotland, they are often referred to by their members as the Home Grand Lodges or the Home uh, Constitutions. And you got Wikipedia cited. The uh, Quotor Coronati Lodge was founded in 1884 with the intent to replace the imaginative, imaginative writing of earlier authors on the history of Freemasonry. The lodge was founded in 1884, consecrated 1886 by nine brethren who were intent on using an evidence-based approach to the study of Masonic history and research into Freemasonry. This in, in, innovative approach was intended to replace the imaginative writings of earlier authors on the history of Freemasonry. This new style and approach was later to be referred to as the Authentic School of Masonic Research. In other words, imaginative writings such as the Contract or Mutual Agreement which was invented by Scottish Rite Masons to slander King James VI without a shred of source documentation. There is no source documentation for the allegations against King James being a Freemason. He was not a Freemason. This is made up stuff to slander him in his Bible. Such, such as a uh, Masonic Certificate of Initiation signed by King James. There is, no, there is no Masonic Certificate of Initiation signed by King James out there. Not one shred of evidence. The Quotor Coronati Lodge regrets that evidence-based study is still sacrificed to the imaginative writings of Freemasons today, such as the Grand Lodge of British Columbia and Yukon's fictitious account of King James VI initiation into Freemasonry. In other words, they are dishonest in their own history. More than uh, 120 years on and the transactions are still being published annually and indeed one could still argue that the intellectual study of Freemasonry continues to be sacrificed and that the need for a thoughtful approach to the study of Freemasonry is just as much needed today. If the King of England and Scotland had been initiated into Freemasonry, the Grand Lodge of England would have a record of it, which they do not. No doubt the United Grand Lodge of England <clears throat> was well aware of King James' antip antipathy toward the occult societies, for he prosecuted witches and Rocrucians, the precursors of the Masons, in his day. King James' personal writings also strongly refute the, change that, uh, the charge that he was a Freemason. The demonology, the demonology was a uh, treatise written by King James in 1597, four years before he was falsely alleged to, jo uh, to join the Masonic Lodge of Schoon and Perth in 1601. In his uh, treatise, King James expressed his alarm over the spread of witchcraft in his beloved Scotland and his strong desire to inform and protect his subjects from the diabolical practices of witches, magic, necromancy, sorcery, witchcraft, and conjuring familiar spirits. The following paragraph from the preface of Demonology, written in the King's English, reveals the tender heart of King James and his concern for the spiritual welfare of his subjects. And this is, uh, this is the quote. The fearful aboundings at this time in this uh, country of these de detestable slaves of the devil, the witches or enchanters, hath moved me, to uh, beloved reader, to dispatch and post this following uh, treatise of mine. Not in any way as I protest to serve for a show of my learning in um, Ignine, or Inging but certainly practiced, but onely moved of conscience to uh, pre-ease thereby so fair as I can, to resolve the doubting hearts of many, both that such assaults of uh, uh, say, uh, Satan or Satan are most, are most uh, certainly practiced, and that the instruments thereof merits most severally to be punished against the dam damnable opinions of two princi principally in our age. Whereof the one called Scott, an Englishman, is not ashamed in public, uh, public print to deny that there can be such a thing as witchcraft, and so maintains the old era of the Sadducees in denying of spirits. The other called Wierus, a German uh, fi uh, physician, or physician, sets out a public apology for all these craft fo folks, whereby procuring for their impu uh, impunitite. He plainly uh, berates himself to have been one of that one of that profession, and for to make this treatise the more pleasant and facile, I have put in form of dialogue, which I have divided into three books. 
the first speaking of magi in general and necromancy in special, the second of sorcery and witchcraft, and the third con uh, continues a discourse of all these kinds of spirits and the specters that appear and troubles uh, persons. Together with a conclusion of the whole work, my intention in this labor is only to prove two things, as I have already said. The one, that such devilish ar uh, arts have been and are. The other, that exact trial and severe punishment they merit, and therefore reason what kind of things are possible to be performed in these arts, and by what natural causes they may be, not that I touch every particular thing of the devil's power, for that were infinite, but... Uh, one, uh, one lead to speak scholastical, since this cannot be spoken of in our language. I reason upon kind genius, leaving appearance species and differences differentia to be com comprehended therein. And that's in his book, Demonology of, of King James VI of Scotland. So he was clearly against witchcraft and all that stuff. He was against everything the Freemasons, uh, you know, practice. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that people pass around this satanic information and just to discredit the king james bible just to make it look like king james is this evil horrible person and therefore his bible must be an error and terrible too no god had his hand on those king james translators and they translate the king james to perfection it is god's perfect word in english language for the english speaking people watch and out for that. these things going around out there you know a good name for this kind of stuff is uh, basically conspiranity and it's the idea of um, all these different odd conspiracy theories out there with no real proof uh, trying to uh, say things. For example, a really good example would be the Seventh-day Adventists. The Seventh-day Adventists uh, try to say there's a conspiracy to change the Sabbath day, to make Sabbath day observance on Sunday. Because people are going to church on Sunday and stuff like that, that they can't get saved. And that it's a big conspiracy to rob people of their salvation when you're not kept by keeping any kind of Sabbath day. You're kept by the power of God through the Holy Spirit and through the uh, putting your faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ for your sins. You know, stuff like that. Just complete and utter nonsense and ridiculous conspiracies to try to discredit important stuff. And the most important work of all, the King James Bible. This is, is God's perfect Bible in the English language. This is God's perfect standard. And don't let some little false conspiracy theory out there try to rob you of having a perfect standard in all matters of faith and practice. But, with that being said, that's it. Thank you for watching the Super Christian YouTube channel. If you feel led to support this ministry, you can donate via the PayPal link at the top of the page. Be sure to click the bell to receive notifications of future videos. I have an ever-growing archive of videos dealing with topics such as the Illuminati, New World Order, the Jesuits, secret societies, news reports, exposing occult symbols in films and popular media, plus sermons and biblical teachings. You can like us on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and Instagram. Please be sure to subscribe, and God bless you all.